posts and pages are written using the block editor. So I'm going to show you how the block editor works by writing a new post. So I go to posts and new. And this loads the block editor. It will look a little bit different depending on the theme you're using, but it always works the same way. So let's start by looking at a post that I've published. On my post, you'll see my post title. You'll see categories and tags, which are designed to help readers find content on your blog. You'll see my body of my post. And at the top of my post, I've got a paragraph. That paragraph was added using a, a paragraph block. And then underneath the paragraph, I've got an image. And that image was added using an image block. Then I've got another paragraph, but this time I've bolded it. And then underneath it, I've got a list. And that list was added using a list block. Because the block editor works by adding different types of block for different types of content. So let's now write this post. So you can see how I put it together using the different blocks. So I start off first by adding the title, where it says add a title. So now I've added my title, and then I go to where I'm going to start adding my content to my post. The first block is automatically a paragraph block, because this allows you to start writing your content immediately. So now I've added my first paragraph, and now I want to add an image. I can't add an image using a paragraph block, I need to add it using an image block. And I do this by adding the image block using the add block option here or here. I click on the image icon and then I upload my image to the image block by selecting it on my computer. As it uploads, you'll see that my block is selected and you'll see above my block is the block toolbar and in the right sidebar is your editor settings sidebar and you'll also see options for your block there as well if you don't see it click on the settings that's used to show and hide it so here I could add alt text I could change my image size if I click on my image, I can change my alignment. I could link my image to a website if I wanted to, or my media file. If I click on crop, I'll open it in edit mode and I'll be able to make changes to my image. If I don't like my image, I could upload a new one or get an another image from my media library. At the end of my, my toolbar, there's an options. This is where I can add a new block before or after. This adds a new paragraph block, and then I can add the block that I want. I can also remove my block. If I click on my paragraph block, you'll see that the formatting toolbar looks slightly different because it only includes the type of formatting I need to do for a paragraph. And you will see in the sidebar that I got different options for formatting my paragraph. I can change the size of my font, my colors. Now I've added my next lot of text and I want this text to be bold. So I select it and click bold. Now this text has been added as a paragraph, but I don't want it as a paragraph. And instead of adding a list block, I can transform a block to a different type of block. And, and every block toolbar includes a change block type or style. So when I click on this, I can see my transform options and I can select list from it. And then I can change it to an ordered list. It's also important for readers, if you're suggesting they check something out, that you link to it. So I'm going to link 
to where they can check out this book. I highlight the text and then I copy the URL from my web browser address bar and then I paste it in and the link is added. I can also move blocks up and down. So if I don't like the location of where I put something, I can use the move down or move up option or I can drag it to the new location. So say I wanted to move this image, I could just do this. Now I've just shown you using some very simple blocks, but there's lots of blocks to choose from. And you just need to click on the add block icon here to search through the options and check out the ones that you want to add. When you're ready to publish your post, click on the post link here. Make sure you've added your category and your tags. And then click publish. It'll ask you to confirm and then you click publish again. And there you go. Your post has been published.